Hey there folks, welcome to this video and here I'm going to be talking about the news out of the WRC today which was released at midnight UK time uh, that Mads Osberg has been entered into the final round of the WRC, Rally Australia with Citroen and well there are a couple of bits to talk about here there are other parts on the internet list as well such as the fact that Danny Sordo at the moment has the call up for Rally Australia uh, but the big one for me was Ostberg who has picked the number two so if he enters in it it will have one and two on their cars um, competing in the works team. Now, the reason for this is very interesting. They secured the funding for it, and it's fascinating that it was the funding for Australia. I personally argue that was because um, Spain was a deadline that was much earlier, and they didn't think about this at the time. Um, the argument that Pierre Boudard gave was this is to try and strengthen a title bid for SEP. So, if Seb is still in the running for the World Championship um, after Spain. Mads will do Australia, because what it means is he starts 11th on the road. Now, bear in mind that that is because of where he sits in the actual overall World Championship. Um, it's right now going to be the second to last World Rally car, because Padden will be 12th on the road, because he's only done one event this season, which was, uh, well, was Rally GB. So, based off of that, Ostberg starts in 11th on the road, and then Patton 12th. Which is a good position to have, especially because both of them have done massively well recently in Australia, especially last season. So, it's going to benefit the teams because it means they're likely to be able to deny other drivers the top points. And for Citroen, it's an interesting change in strategy. Firstly, because of the fact that um, it's very similar to what Hyundai are doing, which is tactically using drivers, so they might have Mads back up to help, well, delay Tanak, and hopefully for them, benefit Ogier. But also because Australia is usually the round where teams will send two cars instead of three, as in in 2017, Toyota only brought two cars, um, one for Lappy and one for Latvala. Um, Hannon didn't do the final round. And I believe Citroen was um, Chris Meek and Craig Breen. I don't think they took Lefebvre to Australia. I might be wrong on that. It's something that's well deserved for Mads. And it could potentially mean even bigger things for Citroen. Because the reason why they didn't do it for the whole season was because they said they didn't have the funding. But I personally believe it was also because they didn't believe they'd be in a title fight. So it could mean the next season they're likely to start using the third car again. Of course, Lappy and Ogier are contracted to the full season. So it could be that it's a car share. And like I said, Eric Camelie's been doing a lot of testing for Citroen recently, partially because he hasn't entered this current generation of rally car, so it's very fascinating given the rules and regulations. But I think Camelie could be eyed up, um, and I will talk about this more in a driver market video, as a potential future driver for Citroen. They've got a ton of drivers in their roster Citroen, so it's not exactly surprising that they've got this variety of options on the table, and they're going to be looking at all these different things. But at the same time, I really hope the best for Mads. Um, we see this with so many other drivers, like Padden, like Green. They deserve to be in the WRC. And th there's no two ways about that. But yeah, I'm going to wrap up this video now. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. It really helps me out. And we'll have a good rest of your day. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.